What is up, humans of the cardboard? Welcome back to Just Nuts, guys. Today we've got more card reveals. This is Karibos. Um, the Karibo siblings have finally arrived. Really crazy. Wow, this is not what I was expecting, but this is our, I believe, uh, no, I don't think they're the first reveals because I think we got like other Fleur cards, um, other like Sherry LeBlanc cards, but this is actually Karibo siblings. Um, Crazy. I was not expecting this animation chronicle. Let's get into it. These are some anime cards. This is an OCG set, so we're not going to get these directly, but we'll get them imported somewhere down the line. All right. Starting off, we have Curry Ba. <laughs> this is a level one dark fiend effect monster. 300 attack, 200 defense. Always treat it as a Karibo card that is very important to distinguish. Uh, you can only use this card's first effect once per turn. When this card or a Karibo monster is destroyed by battle, you can special summon one monster with 300 attack. 200 defense from your deck except for itself interesting that it's just like the, the stat line i'm sure there are other maybe a couple other random monsters that may fit that bill but obviously you're trying to float generically into other karibos um only by battle not the best float effect but okay and the last effect you can tribute this card you control plus four monsters from your hand or field one each of curry b curry boo curry bake and curry bow to special summon a curry babylon from your hand deck or graveyard i guess we will see what that is but that is a crazy cost okay next up we have curry b the pink boy uh obviously level one dark fiend 300 200 counts as a karibo card first effect is a hard once per turn when this card or uh, when this one when this card or your karibo monster is destroyed by battle you can add one spell trap uh, that specifically lists the card Karibo in its text from deck to hand. Again, not a bad float, but it's by battle, so kind of tough there. Uh, once per turn, when an opponent's monster declares an attack, if you control another Karibo monster, you can change the attack of all other face-up monsters you control to zero until the end of this turn, and if you do, negate the attack. Okay, so essentially just negates an attack. You're just going to make something zero, but you're going to negate the attack. Um, okay, cool. Another float effect, a decent float effect, for sure. All right, next up we have Curry Boo, white guy, ghosty. Um, level 1 Dark Fiend, 300, 200, counts as a Karibo. When an opponent's monster declares an attack, you can discard this card to add a Karibo monster from your deck to your hand. Okay, that's kind of cool. I mean, it is on attack declaration, but your opponent's got to attack you to, to do something to you, so um, that's not half bad at all. Um, and you can even get something like Wing. Doesn't Wing Karibo work from hand? can't remember which one works from hand if it's wing Karibo or original Karibo uh to keep you from dying that's not terrible okay interesting card and also once per turn quick effect uh oh you can discard one trap card then target one face up monster your opponent controls and it loses 1500 attack until the end of this turn again just kind of cheeky uh, battle phase stuff and even taking away five 1500 still means a Karibo probably doesn't get over the monster but okay Next, to, next up, we have Curry Bay. All right. Uh, all the same things. Level 1 Dark Fiend, 300, 200. Counts as a Karibo. Quick effect. You can discard this card to target a Karibo monster you control, and it gains 1,500 attack. That's not terrible. That's just a discard at any point. Not the worst one. Also, you can tribute this card you control plus four monsters from your hand or field that include a Kariba, Karibi, Karibu, and Karibo, and... Uh, to add one curry bandit from deck or graveyard to your hand then immediately after this resolves you can normal summon a fiend monster from hand <laughs> again one of these crazy crazy effects uh tributing four this card plus four monsters crazy uh but i guess curry bandit's pretty good for the karibo archetype very interesting <laughs> next up we have curry babylon oh this is the guy that that this one right is it this one yeah this one gets straight out of the deck that curry ba gets Okay, he's got a horn. I guess that that's what makes him Babylon. He's a level 5 Dark Fiend. 1500 attack, 1000 defense. So different stats. Very interesting. You can only use this card's first or third effect once per turn and only once per turn. So you can't use both, but you can use one. First effect reads, if you have more monsters in your graveyard than your opponent, you can special summon this card from the hand. That's a pretty generic, just like, extender card. Wow, okay. Interesting. Also, it gains 300 attack and defense for each Karibo monster you control and in your grave. Keep in mind, this doesn't even say with different names. So if you could put, you know, multiple copies of all of these, I mean, he could theoretically get huge real quick. 
Uh, and the last effect, during your main or battle phase, only your your main or battle phase, not your opponent's, you can return this card to your hand, and if you do special summon a Kuriba, Kuribi, Kuribu, Kuribe, and Kuribo from your hand and or graveyard in attack position. Um, yeah, that's fine. Just tags out. It only tags out on your turn, though, but I guess that could be kind of cool for battle phase shenanigans. He gains a ton of attack, attacks once, then he tags out until all of them. And while they're not the greatest, they do just... Um, they do kind of stack up. I mean, that's another 1,500 damage at least um, for even any other buffs. So, very cool. Last card we have here is 5 Star Twilight. This is a normal spell that you can only activate once per turn. If the only monster you control is a level 5 monster, like our Curry Babylon, tribute it to special summon a Curry Ba, Curry B, Curry Boo, Curry Bay, and Curry Bow from your hand deck and or graveyard, but they cannot be tributed for a tribute summon. Okay. I don't know. Uh, I'm kind of confused by that because, like, theoretically, if you already had him out, he can already tag into them. So what is the point of using this to get into them? I don't know. It's like the same exact effect. I don't know, except that this one's actually better because he returns himself to the hand. Very confused on that. But, okay, we got some Karibo cards. I mean, listen, these are not competitive by any means whatsoever, but a lot of people like Kuri uh, Karibo and, and, and stuff like that. Karibo. 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 Uh, I don't know why it sounds so weird to say. Um, it's a cool anime archetype. Of course, Jaden had uh, Jaden as well as Yugi um, had the you know Karibo sprite that helped them out in certain situations. So gotta love him. He's cute. Um, and this is just fun. It's a fun archetype, and it's cool for them. We'll get these imported somewhere else. Maybe like a, a Battles of Legend or something like that. That's that's kind of what this feels like. Is like a one of those Battles of Legend archetypes. Um, that's more collectible than anything, right? Because Kuribos at this point uh, are just kind of collectibles. They're not really competitive or any, in any way, uh, but still cool. I mean, it's Kuribos are so classic. So uh, let me know your thoughts down below on this stuff. Um, it may be in terms of anything competitive you can think about with this, uh, as well as just what you like about them, what you don't, and what anime relevance, any thoughts you might have on that. Let me know down below. And uh, yeah, Kuribos. Very cool. Subscribe to the channel, by the way, if you haven't yet and you want to see more uh, new card reviews as they come. So catch you in the next one. Peace.